31 suspected white nationalists have been arrested in Idaho for allegedly planning a riot near a local pride parade. Police detained the members of white supremacist group Patriot Front near a pride event. Police, Police say, say they had smoke grenades, shields, and were decked out in riot gear. Officers dragged the suspects from the back of a U-Haul. Transgenderism must be eradicated from public life entirely. Uh, yeah, I think there should be no transgender. Inside the back of a U-Haul. My grandparents quit talking to me for three years when I came out. So you guys talk nowadays? Yes, now we talk. And they approve of her. They oh, actually nice. actually love her more than they love me. So how did you get your grandparents from point A to point B, where they were originally homophobic and now they're okay with it? Um, I think they realize that I'm their granddaughter and they need to love me for who I want to be. And the, if they want to keep the relationship with me, then they just need to accept it. It's a lot more about like who she is rather than like who she loves, I guess. Like she likes women, not men, but okay, she's our granddaughter, we love her, and now they love me, and they just, its everything's like fine. What do you guys think we could do to get the broader conservative community from point A to point B, just like your grandparents did? I think a lot of the people that hate on the LGBTQ community uh, don't have a lot of personal people in their life that are. I think a lot of people are scared to tell like they're conservative, Republican, or anti-LGBTQ family. I see it all everywhere, it's like, be careful who you hate, it could be somebody you love, and I think that's very true. So people are friendly, like to you in person. Yeah. And I think a lot of these laws are not targeted at like the gay person they know individually or the trans person that they know, but they're targeted at this like boogeyman that doesn't really exist. There's mm -hmm. this abstract concept. It's this, when you kind of demonize it in the national news mm -hmm. is where people are getting hurt. So, Is there anyone you know that's been affected by the passing of Kim Reynolds' anti-transgender laws? Oh, absolutely. Uh, I work with someone whose sister is a teacher she teaches third grade, and there was a student who has two moms, and the other kids were like, two moms, what is what is that all about? Yeah. And the teacher just explained, like, all families are different, some families have two moms, some have two dads, some have a mom and a dad, but now with the passing of this law, she literally can't say that. So it's actually against the law for her to even say that. So, because that's talking about sexual orientation, and that's talking about gender identity. In and and school and in the media, it's called heteronormativity, right? where you're promoting straight couples and the second they try to show a gay couple, people either lose their shit or they don't understand, so. You know, uh, for the longest time, I don't think I even knew what LGBTQ was, uh, just because uh, you know, being queer is not really taught in schools, uh, at least for my generation. Uh, but it, it was difficult to sort of navigate that path without any sort of knowledge or mentors or people on TV that I could look up to. We all need to see ourselves represented in, in TV and in movies. Mm. Everything that I see that features a uh, same-sex couple, you know, it's just another step forward to saying we're here and, and we're just like everybody else. And if you had a message for conservatives that are passing these laws, what would you say? Uh, Go find these scary gay and scary trans people that you think are child groomers, are ruining the country, and talk to them. Uh, I think it should focus more on uh, higher priority issues mm -hmm. like infrastructure or education cool. mm -hmm. or housing the poor. Anything but what they're the doing, homeless, which the I think is very opportunistic. A drag queen is the least concerned about your child, and so are most gay people. Um, Drag queen is concerned about where their eyelashes are, or you know what brush they're going to use for blush. Like it really, they really do, do not care. Like trust me. We all die one day, and I'd rather not die with hate in my heart. I'd I'd rather die loving people um, and being loved and showing love and kindness. Uh, I don't understand this anger, this hatred. I just I don't get it. Um, no one's hurting you. No one's coming after you. Why are you coming after them? Love is love. This community shows more love and support than this, this whole movement and push of fear is doing so. I just saw it was Matt Walsh on Joe Rogan. So if you have you seen that clip? Uh, with the millions of people on puberty yeah. blockers? Yeah, yeah like, dude, that's fucked Matt up. Matt Walsh is like, oh yeah, there's millions of people that are out there. And even Joe Rogan, like, who, I, I think Joe Rogan, like, presents some balanced views. He's not, like, total right-winger. Yeah. Um, Joe Rogan certainly, like, 
really? Millions? And they fact-checked him right there. If we're talking about the drugs, it's, I mean, millions. Yeah. Millions of kids have been on hormone blockers? Really? Uh... I'm sure someone's going to fact check me on it, but my 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 guess is that we're in we're into the millions now at this point. Yeah. It I'll says to... over the last five years there were at least four thousand seven hundred eighty adolescents who started puberty blockers and had a prior gender dysphoria diagnosis. Yeah, I mean, I I would guess you know hundreds of thousands at this, but I could be wrong. Million sounds great. <laughs> yeah, I could be wrong. Yeah, Joe Rogan certainly like. Really? Millions? And they fact-checked him right there on air, and it's like 5,000 people. 5,000 teenagers on puberty blockers. It's such a good clip, yeah. And Matt Walsh couldn't even, like, eat his words in that interview. He just still, like, tried to dig in and, like... And that dude made a whole documentary on it before. He made a whole documentary, and he didn't even know the basic fact. Even Joe Rogan said, like, that sounds like it supports your narrative, but... It's gonna air on Twitter. I'm sure lots of people will be watching. And, yeah, they'll believe it, too. And, uh... Matt Walsh... They've seen their testing They've seen medical Now this great exodus of Americans 